So lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to create just a temporary section just to see how our pond ties in with our existing grade surface. We're going to cut a section throughout the length of our pond. So I'm just going to exit, exit out of that. And then, as you can see, we have two different surfaces now. We've got the existing grade surface and we have a pond grading group surface. Go ahead and create a viewport. And we're going to go with two vertical viewports. But with the right viewport, I want you to do a D view. Then press enter once more. Then type in TW to twist the view. Right now this view is at a twist angle of 90 degrees. As you can see right here, it's at 90. We want that to be zero. Then press enter once more. And I'm going to move this off to the side so you can see what's going on. So next, we're going to cut our temporary section. I'm going to go up into my profile, click that drop down and select Quick Profile. Civil 3D is asking us to select an object or by points. I want to go by points. And now it's asking us to select the first point. I'm just going to go roughly from here. I'm going to turn on my ortho. I'm going to go from here all the way over to here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to press Enter. Now we get our Create Quick Profiles dialog box. We're going to accept all of these defaults with the exception of changing the, prof the profile style from existing to... Uh, we can go with Layout and click OK. And that's solely for the proposed pond grading group. Then click OK. And now it's asking us to select Profile View Origin. We've got to pick our profile view. So if I select, if I wanted to go over here, let's see what happens. Click this checkbox to clear this menu. You can see that the quick profile view is rotated in this direction. That's why we created this separate viewport so we could actually see what's happening with our surface profile for our pond. So that's why we went about going, going about that, this route of creating a viewport and doing a D-view twist to bring our view back to due north. I'm going to move this off to the side so we can see it a little bit better. So congratulations, you just created a brand new grading group of your proposed pond and you also cut a section in order to give others further information on just the surface profile of your brand new detention pond.